Investing in farming can seem like a very good strategic move. After all, whether the overall economy is in a recession or booming, people still have to eat at least, right? As the global population grows, the requirement for food will also eventually increase. And this is the reason why most do believe that agriculture and farming are, are recession-proof investment options for any investor. That said, literally buying a farm isn't a very feasible strategy for any individual. You might be very much passionate about farming, but buying a land might be a challenge for you. Buying a farm can require a large capital commitment as well as the time and the cost of operating or leasing a farm are often substantial. However, today, fortunately, we have some alternative options wherein people can actually invest in agriculture without actually having to own a property or a land. Hi, I'm Namita. Welcome to Freedom's Farming Channel. And today I'm going to talk about what are the ways through which you can invest in agriculture without having to own a particular land. Before we move ahead, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then make sure that you do subscribe to our channel for more such interesting content. Now, moving on, the very first option that you get to invest is called as Real Estate Investment Trust. So, a Real Estate Investment Trust or REIT as it is called is a very great method to invest in farming without actually owning any land or property. Farm REITs are a subset of a Real Estate Investment Trust that actually hold and they operate farms and other agricultural properties. Or rather of buying a, a land or a farm, you might as well purchase the shares in a farm that is leased to the tenants. Now, let me tell you that each REIT will be exposed to a certain sectors of agriculture. The primary benefit of investing in a farm REIT is that it allows the investors to actually diversify their portfolios and gain exposure to the agricultural asset class without actually dealing with the complications of owning and maintaining a farm. The second one is called as the agricultural commodities. So investing in agricultural commodities is yet another option to gain exposure to the agriculture business without owning any land or property. So agricultural commodities, they are basically the raw materials or the raw resources that are used in the manufacture of food and other products. Now the, some of the examples could include the corns, wheat, soya bean, ice and livestock are some of the examples of the agricultural commodities. Now agricultural commodities can be invested via something which is called as ETFs or exchange traded funds. So ETFs frequently minimizes the risk of investing in volatile commodities markets while also increasing exposure. So you might ask me, how does this actually work? Well, let me tell you that the product futures contracts are, the, are basically the agreements to acquire or to sell a specific amount of agricultural commodity at a specific price and also the specific date in the future. So these contracts can also be used to hedge against any rising prices or if there is any experiment on the market directions. The third type of investment you can do in agriculture is called as crowdfunding. So farmers have traditionally had a very difficult time raising funds. Small farmers may find it very difficult to get started due to the high cost of the land and also the pricey equipment. So the option here is the farmers on the other hand can use the crowdfunding to raise funds from small group of small investors. So as a consequence, investors may have to diversify their portfolio by including also the farming. Now the fourth one I'm going to talk about is called as the agricultural mutual funds. Now agricultural mutual funds hold a portfolio of companies that produce food and other goods. Here the diversification and professional management are also available as they are available with any other kind of mutual fund that you invest in. Now however as an investor it is very much crucial that you understand in addition to the agriculture that many of these funds have exposure to any other kind of sectors as well. Now, before investing in any mutual funds, investors should also think about certain factors in mind before investing in mutual funds. For instance, the fees that is levied, the performance history of the shares that you're buying or the companies of shares that you're collecting, etc. While agricultural mutual funds, let me tell you, may not provide you the same amount of exposure as against the agricultural exchange traded funds, 
but they still can be a very good methods to gain exposure to farming industry without actually needing to own any kind of property or land now also let me tell you that while farm reits the agriculture etfs which is exchange traded funds the mutual funds and crowd funds can all be a very good investment options by when you're investing in agriculture without owning funds but let me also tell you that these are the instruments which are riskier because they are very reliant to the stock markets and stock markets let me tell you when you're investing in stock markets it's very much important that you be wary of the stocks that you're buying or the shares that you're holding so whenever you're investing in any kind of stock market related funds or the shares you're buying you always need to be wary and you need to be very careful when you're selecting these shares and the stocks now you might ask me, these are the investment options that I've already given you that you can invest in agriculture related or the farm related industries or the companies. But what is the risk free option that I have? My risk appetite is very low. I do not want to take a lot of risk when it comes to my investments. Then what is the safe investment options that we have in farming or the agriculture? Then let me tell you the safest investment option you get is by investing in hydroponics farming. Now hydroponic farming, let me tell you, is a method of an agriculture in which the plants are cultivated in water and nutrients rather than the soil itself. Most of the crops that we grow are cultivated in crops, but hydroponics is not like that. It is one of the smart farming methods that anyone can start with. Now hydroponic farming is also very much perfect as a perfect option for metropolitan settings as well with limited and expensive land. There are several methods to begin a hydroponic gardening without actually owning a property. Now, one of the alternatives you get is by joining one of the commercial hydroponic farming enterprise. Now, these companies have the infrastructure and the knowledge to get your crops off to the good start. Another option you can get is you can establish a hydroponic partnership with another farmer, say, or with another company. So, this may be an excellent method to share the cost as well as the revenues while also learning from the experience of the others. So if you do not want to, let's say the third option we'll consider, wherein you do not want to develop your own hydrophonic business, then you can start investing in the already existing ones. So this might be a very great way to get started in the field without actually having to deal with all the difficulties of running your own business. Now these days, there are several such commercial hydroponic farms who are actually looking for the investors. These companies often have a very strong business plan and they come up with a proven track record, making, thus making them a very secure investment. However, again, to reiterate again, you as an investor, you need to make sure that you conduct a thorough research before investing in any kind of hydroponic farm. You need to make sure that you do proper investigation in the, of the farm and ask relevant questions that leads to the operations, how the entire operations work. These are the very good options if you can definitely invest in agriculture or farming without actually having to own a property. Now, investing in land is a complicated factor which includes land availability, the location, good water supply, the power and other basic fundamental necessities. All of these factors actually contribute to the high cost of purchasing land. That's the reason why these days purchasing a farm or a land has become very difficult for especially the city dwellers. One of the best way to own a land and to own a farm is by investing in agriculture or farm related sectors and farming. So these were some of the investment options that you as an investor can have when you're interested to invest towards agriculture or farming without actually you having a particular owning a particular property or a piece of land. I hope this video was quite helpful to all the investors looking to invest towards agriculture and farming. Also, if you're someone who's interested to work, to learn in detail more about investment, what are the different investment avenues that you can invest and make money, a huge profit, huge returns, then hurry up and download Freedom App from Play Store or App Store when we have experts in a particular field who will teach you in detail about how you can invest in say one particular avenue say if you want to learn in detail about how you can invest in mutual funds how you can invest in exchange traded funds how you can invest in stock markets etc so if you're someone who's just begin who's just started to started investing towards any particular avenue then hurry up and download freedom app also well, it just goes without saying do not forget to hit on the like button subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video thank you for watching freedom get wise break free Oh, 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 oh.